applications of first order differential equations. The very first application is related to exponential growth, exponential decay. If y is a differentiable function of free variable t such that y is positive and y prime or rate of change of y with respect to t is equal to k times y for some constant k, then your function y is equal to c e to power k t. C is called the initial value or initial population of function y. And k is the proportionality constant. When k is positive, you have exponential growth. And when k is negative, you have exponential decay. Let us take a look at one example together, everyone. In this example, a culture initially has P sub zero number of bacteria. At T equals to one hour, the number of bacteria or the population of bacteria is measured to be three halves of the initial population P sub zero. If the rate of growth is proportional to the number of bacteria, which is denoted by function PT, determine the time necessary for the number of bacteria to triple. Let us find the model for this question. We know that the rate of change of population with respect to time or dp dt is proportional to population itself. So that's how you end up with k times p. k is the constant of proportionality and p is the population. We can write this differential equation as first order linear differential equation, dy dx plus pxy equals to f of x. Remember, to find the integrating factor, we need to find e to power integral of px dx. dp dt, or the rate of change of p with respect to time, minus kp is equal to zero. We just subtracted kp from both sides. Now, p of x is equal to negative k. Let us find the integrating factor. Integrating factor is e2 power integral of negative k dt, which is equal to e to power negative k times t. In the next step, we're going to multiply the standard form by the integrating factor. So you end up with e to power negative kt times dp dt minus e to power negative kt kp equals to zero times e to power negative kt. If you group Left-hand side, the rate of change with respect to time of e to power negative kt, p becomes zero. So it gives us e to power negative kt, p equals to c. Remember, at this point, we took the integral of both sides. We can do a little bit of algebra and simplify this and write pt, or population, equals to c e to power k t. This is the mathematical model for this question. But we are looking for the time. So we need to solve this function 
by plugging different values for t. This is our function. Population function is c e to power kt. Now, based on the information from the question here at t equal to zero, when you plug in zero for t, p zero, which is initial population, becomes c times e to power zero, or this just one, e to power zero is one, so p sub zero becomes c. So basically, the population can be written as p sub zero e to power kt. How it's going to help us? Well, we know that at t equals to one, after one hour, the population is measured to be three halves p sub zero. So wherever we see the population, we're going to use three halves p sub zero. On the right-hand side, you have p sub zero e to power k times one. So you end up with e to power k. Remember, t is equal to one. So when you plug in one here, you get e to power k. You can cancel out p sub zero and p sub zero. You end up with e to power k equals to three halves. Now to calculate k, we can take the ln of both sides. ln of e to power k is k, and on the right-hand side, you end up with ln of 3 halves. To approximate this number, we're going to use a calculator. If you plug in ln of 3 halves and do the computation, it gives you 0. 0.4055. We have found k, everybody. So we can rewrite our function as pt equals to p sub 0, e to power kt, and k is 0.4055. Remember that the population triple, it means that three times the initial population, so three times p sub 0 becomes p sub 0, e to power kt and k is calculated as 0.4055t. Let us do a little bit of algebra. You can basically cancel out p sub 0 and p sub 0. So 3 is equal to e to power 0.4055 times t. You can take ln of both sides. By taking ln of both sides, you have 0.4055t equals to ln of t, or if you continue, t is equal to ln of t divided by 0.4055. Using your calculator, it's going to give you approximately 2.71 hours. Or if someone says, hey, round it, you're going to say it's going to be close to three hours. So after three hours, the population is going to triple.